Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I've been um, exploring Art Rage 6 a little bit more than I normally do, uh, and as much I mean the brushes. I didn't realise there were so many custom brushes already included in Art Rage 6. So in this video, I'm just going to explore uh, one or two of those to produce this painting. I've been looking around Art Rage and I didn't realise, I mean, I've been into the custom brushes for a while and I've made my own custom brushes. We can see all of these here I've made, uh, made, but it never occurred to me to look at what else is in there uh, in these uh, custom presets. So I was looking in the artistic set and I found this brush. Well, there's a lot of cool brushes in there, but one I liked was the simple paintbrush because you can put on um, a colour and just blend into it and you get this really nice effect so I thought let's give it a go let's give these brushes a go that uh, they're not really hidden away in there I just didn't pay them any attention really so I need to get um, a colour over the whole of my uh, canvas, really. I'm not so sure how well this is going to perform. i make it really big. Is it going to be dead laggy? It's, it's all right. It's, it is a little bit laggy, but um, I'm only going to use it that size to get some colour over the whole of the area. And then after that, I'll, I'll shrink it down. and um it will be a lot more manageable but it is a little bit laggy i don't know if, that, if there's something wrong with my pc um i'm sure it performs quicker than this i do think i i probably am ready for an upgrade at some point I think that may be just a bit too big. See how the blue and the yellow make that kind of a green colour. So they have got something going off in here that um, mixes colour how you would expect with pigments and not light. difficult to lay a colour on once you've got a lighter colour on. It doesn't seem to want you to put a darker colour over the top of it, which is very much like real paint, I guess. I can drag that lighter paint into it, but this is only the underpainting, so it doesn't really matter too much, does it? It looks like this is going to be quite a bright painting. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try something a bit different. I'm gonna go for for lots of darks over this. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start again. I've had an idea, and I'm going to just paint a really dark underpainting, and then start um, blending. Or painting lighter colours over the top, so I'll probably have to create a few layers for that. I don't know if I wanted that green there. Let's clear it again. It's not going too well, is it? Let's try that. That's better. Clear the layer one more time. Uh. 
Right, I sort of know where I'm going now. Get a little bit lighter for this bit. It's still dark, you know. Still keeping it fairly dark. I've now got this bright blue sky going off in the corner of the photo down here, but um, I'm going to keep it darker for now. And we might add some highlights in, I don't know. I'll let these colours push together. I've chosen this brush because I think it uh, will be really cool when I come to put in all of these little flowers and all the colours just merging together. That's going to be really, really nice. So I'm, I don't know if you can see it, if um, the compression that YouTube does on these videos, I've added some blue. I'm putting some blue in this now. Um, we've got special K in the picture. This was taken last year at uh, Robin Hood's Bay. And I was just messing about in a program called Dark Table, which is a raw editor. It's a free bit of software. So um, I thought I'd give it a go for taking some of my old photographs and um, just giving them a facelift from the point of view of using them for uh, painting and I thought this made a really cool subject I'm not feeling this ye yellowy green down here um, I'm going to have to overpaint that but I'm not going to undo it now Just my dark blue in again. Just to finish off there. Maybe some green as well. Right, that's got the um, underpainting sorted. Notice I'm not doing any drawing on this one. I'm just going straight in with shapes and uh, I'm going to let this um, use the shapes to define what area I'm painting not worrying about any linear uh, you know pencil work or anything to give me a guide I'm doing it all from the shapes so I'm going from the abstract to hopefully the detail that's my plan anyway so I think I need a new layer at this point I'll just move that out of the way for a second I've created a new layer. I'm not going to change the blend mode or anything. I'm going to bring the brush size down to a more manageable size. Just under 200%. And let's see what we get with this. This still wants to be quite dark. Oh, that's better. That's probably a bit big. That might be better. Once you get a colour on, it's difficult to then paint another one into it. What have we got here that I can change? Oh, 
I'm going to keep this really, really soft. I think this brush is going to be great for the uh, flowers, but it's not, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky for the, um, for this stonework. I've got to make sure I get the color right. I've come way, I've come down way too far with this stonework. This, this should be flowers here. Um, let's just stick it in eraser mode. Let's get rid of some of this. Um, go to a green. Oh, I'm still in eraser mode. Whoops. Bit darker. These flowers should be sort of way up here, all the leaves. I may have to, I'm, I'm going to try another brush actually. There's one I liked. Um, Bristle Six Blend. That might. That's a nice. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. We've had a little bit of a change around in the brushes. Right, I might go over. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on. I was I was doing the brick work and it was throwing me. I wasn't concentrating on um, where everything was positioned in the painting. So I'm gonna concentrate on getting uh, the location of everything in the right place. You get this really nice soft smudgy effect but you'd have to sort of go over it a few times with each stroke to do that i think that's cool i think that's that's working well, that's better that's kind of better then you can see where there's no paint it just plows it on really quick and you get this bright that's just um that's better so it turns into a bit, a bit better so we've got this wall coming across here and then we've got some more and this is going to go on easy because there's nothing on this side special k's head is going to be kind of there and then we've got some more Greenery coming in here. That's better. I, I feel like. Uh, and we've got this down here. Have I come over too far? I've come over too far with that. I think we've got lots of um, adding new layers.
Just sort of get in it, get in everything position where I want it. And then I'm going to flatten all of these layers down, I think. Yeah. To soften off really, really nice. I, I, lo I love the way you can uh, push the colors together but once you've got a layer on it's almost impossible to paint into it you can blend into it like that look but you can't paint over it so you've got to be aware of that when you're using this brush but it's not a big deal because you can just create a new layer so special k is going to go in there not these bushes maybe just pick that blue up a bit there we go whoops we're not ready for that bright color yet it's coming but we're not there yet Right, I, I'm going to um, merge the layers down because I don't need all them layers. I just want I just created them so I could get uh, more color on. I think I'm going to get special K in now. So create a new layer. Got to do that because it's not going to let me uh, paint it. Otherwise, it, it will just sort of. So um, I'm thinking. Here, like there. Totally wrong color, of course. Bang. Some burnt legs. Do you mean? Got a shadow going off there, so that's cool. I can just take the eraser, rub a little bit out, and then paint back into it. Special K doesn't know I'm doing this, so uh, she'll get a surprise when she says, because she always says, What you've been painting today. And uh, let's show her this. No guarantee she'll like it though. I'm looking at the light on her shoulders and all that. That's going to be really cool when I start to uh, get that in. That will come later.
trying to pick a, a reasonably warm skin tone. That's orange. <laughs> that ain't a skin tone. Oh my word. That's a bit better. Got my brush way too big at the minute. Zoom in a bit, I can see what I'm doing. Got that bag going off there. Another bag there. Must be a camera or something. I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. Sorry about that. There we go. That's, that's all right. I'm liking that. Kerry is an hairdresser. Her real name's Kerry, by the way. I always call her Special K. Special K um, is in actual fact an hairdresser. So she's always got really funky hairstyle going off. I need to change this leg colour down here. It's not cool. I just blend that in. Better. I'm liking the uh, impressionist feel of it. So I could create a new layer now and then uh, pick up some dark tones. It's back in here. Uh, just let that layer and rub that bit of bag out of there. Back to the top one. This isn't going to be a painting where I'm painting in every single, you know, I'm not going to do all the fingers and all that kind of detail. I'm liking this really loose. It's why I picked this brush because it's all about the flowers. So the figure's sort of secondary to the um, to the main subject, which is going to be all the flowers that I uh, cram in there. a bit too too much might be all right though because i've got that on two layers i can just rub that little bit out oh don't know why i did that Could do with being a bit grayer. 
Right, I'm going to put, pop these highlights in on the shoulder. They look white on on the uh, canvas, but in actual fact, if you look at the colour wheel, we've got it is still quite pink. This is going to work when I zoom out. Kind of hoping so. Maybe change the air color up a little bit. quite nice that's all right for a start i might come back to it i'm feeling like it's coming together quite nice i think i should save this though um i need to go to i'm in my art rage folder let's create a uh, new folder uh, we'll call it i'll just call it carry for now so I've got Kerry in I'm going to continue painting I think a red might be a touch big I'm not sure I'll paint I'll continue painting some of the flowers around her and then come on to the detail on the right hand side so I'm just going to be quiet for a little while now and um I'll start painting some of these these other the detail of the leaves and things so I will be back um shortly Right, I'm coming back in now and I'm, um, I've am i sort of got all the background in and I'm wanting to put in uh, the leaves, some of the highlight leaves, the much lighter leaves. And I think I'm going to come in with a brighter sky. In fact, I might do that now, actually, while I think about it. Just uh, lighten that up a little bit. And I'll be able to get some contrast in those leaves as well. But it just makes it a lighter day. It just seemed, it, it didn't seem right having that um, sky so dark and then having popping highlights. I 
I think this brush blending, what's it called? What am I using? The Bristle 6 Blend. It's great for clouds because I can push those colours into one another. Got a bit of a cloud effect going off there. That's cool. You know, you may notice I've been um, creating layers and merging them down. And, and what I've I've discovered the best way to do it is to every time I want to overpaint something, uh, just create a new layer. And then when I get to about six layers, I come up to edit. And then no, I don't. I click on this little. Um, let's do that again. There's a little icon next to the word layers. I click on that. And uh, there should be something there that says merge all layers. That's it. And that seems to be a quick way of um, solving that for me. Now I'm using this bristle brush for these leaves, but if I if I if I zoom in. They're all a bit scraggly, so I'm going to go back, I think at this point, and try this simple paintbrush again. Bring that down in size. Yeah, I like that. I like that effect better. So I'm going to go with this simple paintbrush, and it and it does it does the blending thing as well. Look, so I can blend colours in there. Like that. There, I've come too far over. Way too far, actually. Let's just take them back a bit. Oh, now all my layers of. Uh, let's merge them all down again. Create a new layer. And I just want them to be sort of coming out to here, really. That's better. Stick with the plan, Steve. I think this painting, really, it's all about getting the right tone you don't want the areas too light and you can see that I've painted on top of that and it is lighter than the tone underneath I've actually put special case standing on the curb stone which isn't cool is it it may be a bit I'm not going to repaint her now. So I'm going to move the curbstone. I do like where she's positioned. But that curbstone needs moving. That makes more sense. And then paint over here. I'm thinking that was the show. Try and get this. Got this lime green color. Just a couple of strokes where the sun's catching. Really bright leaves there. Gotta try and put these stones in a bit more defined. There we
That gives us the perspective that draws your eye into the scene. Oh. That's all right. And then a light color. Oh, we need a new layer. Light color. We'll get this sort of shadow in. Like that. There you go. That's better. Let's put her on the ground. Let's get some of these um, leaves in on this side now. It's so tempting to be too bright. We've really got to control initially the that temptation to have really bright leaves popped in there straight away. can still bring in some dark darks to blend into those colors are they just all smudged together I do want that I'm not going to bother with that little bit of roof I don't know if you can see it let's just move the picture can't quite see it there but on the image I'm looking at there's a uh, Quite a defined roof line, which I'm not going to bother putting in. I'm sort of just scrub it in some big shapes. Just before I start getting in with the uh, lime greens now. That is bright. That's probably better. Let's just undo that first one. This part of the painting, we've got some pretty well defined leaves. I say painting, I mean photo, of course. this pink is this pink going to be right could be a bit lighter not quite as sharp I'm hoping this is going to work These flowers are kind of hanging down like that. And we've all got this a bit where I 
Got some stronger colour. And basically, I've got to work on this and just blend lots of colours together. Lots of greens. Oops. So that they start, can you see how they're starting to blend and smudge? And this is why, this is the reason I picked this brush to do what I'm doing now. I'm just smudging all of these colours together. And then I might sort of just go over and pop some uh, colours, sharp colours over the top when I've blended all of these together. And this gives it that kind of abstract look that I was looking for. I can go in with some darks as well, some really strong blues. I come down here. How oh, we're looking? Am I liking it? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm okay with what's happening here. And then I want this sort of bluey green colour for some leaves down here. And again, I'm going to paint it into them. And smudge them all out. There we go. And now we've got these lovely purple purples. Um, and then they come right out over here, but much, much deeper color, like this sort of color. And they come right and cover up special K. Right down here. Some of these colours smudge into these as well. And pinks in. A few oranges. Now I just need to tie all of this lot together. Maybe with some uh, green foliage. I need a really thin brush. 
Let's just drag some of these. I want to drag in the purple. So I'm going to create another new layer because I want it. I, I do want these to be dark. Better. Get these lines. This is all sort of growing out. There we go. Um, I'm going to merge that down. That one. And I want a purple, so I'll select it off here, but I want it lighter, quite a bit lighter. And I can pop some tops, just some highlights, blend it in. Because I'm on the same layer, these colors just smudge together really nice. And some dark purples down here. Get that. This might be on a new layer just so I can get them really darks in and not worry about them blending with those lighter colours. Need some dark greens as well. Maybe just make the brush a little bit bigger. Notice I've, uh, I've got sharp edges here where the light is catching it, you know, it's right full on it. But over here in this bottom uh, right corner, I've got the soft blending where the light isn't so um, strong. I think I need to I'm just looking at special K now. And I'm just thinking that's just, just body looked a little bit unbalanced somehow. That's what it is. It's the arm there. Let's create a new layer. Should be more like that. Uh, then that arm needs to just. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, that's it, about level. That's cool. Too much. I think that's that's all right. I don't like that a bit. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Better, better. Now I'm going to pick this light color and just reclaim some of the light going through the path. Like that, 
perhaps There we go, some of this lighter stuff down here. And I think, you know, I don't think that's far off from, we need some, actually, I need a new layer, really dark color, thin brush. Get some of these lines in here. That's to it. I could go on with this for ages. I think we need some more pink. I thought it was finished, but then I, I start looking and thinking I could come right up here. A few more pink flowers in. Soften them off. I want them blurry. Let's just do that a little bit. We went a bit over the top then. Better. There, I think that's finished. I'm just going to sign this one. And call it a day. I hope you've enjoyed this video of me painting Special K uh, in Art Rage, trying a couple of brushes, the simple paint brush and the Bristle 6 blend brush. Never tried them before. They were a bit of a challenge, I have to say. And as much that um, once you got a color on, it was very, very difficult to um, add more color without creating layers. But if you adjust your technique accordingly, they work really, really well. So as I say, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.